Okay, YouTubers. I went over to Star Performance this morning. Actually, closer to noon by the time I got that far. But I picked up a 7.375. Hopefully you guys can see that. I got a 25,000 shorter push rod. Now, the without going custom, the next... Uh, shorter push rod was 7.350 and I felt like eh, that seems a little aggressive I don't think I want to do that short of a push rod I think I'm really only needing to account for as close as I can the 30,000 shim I had to use <clears throat> to uh, shim that one spring on that extended or longer valve stem height. So basically I had made the decision to just go ahead and uh, get the 25,000 shorter, run the numbers, see what my preload is, and go from there. So basically I have everything set where this is on uh, the exhaust valve for number one is on the back side of the lobe because I went ahead and ran the numbers on it again this morning before I left the house. So we'll remove the 7400 push rod and put in our, make sure it's clean inside. Always check your push rods. You'd be surprised what can get lodged in there, what can be there from manufacturing, uh, bugs, general junk can end up down in there it's pretty bizarre so I made sure our push rod was clean and they made fun of me at star for only buying one push rod and I said well why would I spend a hundred dollars on a full set when I don't need a full set of push rods I need one so we're gonna Start moving this down. So I don't want to get any compression on that uh, plunger in the lifter itself. I want to find the true. See if I can get my fat fingers up in here. Zero lash because these uh, non. Uh, pumped up lifters they do have oil in them from where I soaked them but they are not pumped up so there's zero lash we have no play so let's just see where we're at should be I'm estimating about I'm gonna say one and a quarter plus a hair. So let's just start putting it down. Here's one. We're about one and an eighth. We are one and an eighth. So we've gone from the uh, too many turns to almost enough because I was really hoping to be closer to one and a quarter but I would rather it be a little light than be too heavy if that makes any sense like your engine will run better if your preload is less rather than more you know when you run too much preload or god forbid bottom out your plunger in your lifter you can have issues where the valves can hang open, the engine won't start, has rough idling, rough running, a uh, whole myriad of problems can uh, surface if you have the push rods that are way too long. So I'm going to live with that. I think that's a really good uh, compromise. I'm above one full turn, so at least I know I'm, I'm in the ballpark and I'm not too deep. And I'm within a reasonable proximity to uh, proximity to all the other rockers.
You know what I mean? Like I could technically have run that 7400 push rod at the what 80 thousandths preload, but I just chose to go spend the extra seven bucks and make it closer to the rest so that everything's happier and everything's more uh, fluent. So anyway, that's where I'm at. I'm fixing to uh, button this thing up and put the valve cover on for the last time and start doing some of the other small projects that have to be completed so that we can put the engine back in the blazer. So there you go, guys. Push rod length drama solved. Thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Hit the little bell. And please go look, check out all the, I have hundreds of videos over the six years. It's almost seven years I've been posting videos. Check them out. See if you can find something else you enjoy.